Let's talk about the dental school personal statement. It's funny, I haven't actually thought about my own personal statement since basically I wrote it back in 2019. It's been a couple of years, but recently I was discussing the topic of the personal statement with a current pre-dental student who's going through the application process. And it got me thinking about this paper again, and I just wanted to talk about it more with you on the channel. One of the first videos I ever made was about the personal statement. And if you haven't seen that, you could check it out right here. There are a lot of good points in that video that I stand by to this day. But in this video, I wanted to distill down my thoughts about the personal statement into four necessary elements that you should be looking to add to your personal statement. Friends, if you're new to the video, my name is Steven and I am a second year dental student at UTHSC in Memphis. And I make videos about dental school and the process of getting in and just the life around dental school. So if you're interested in any of that content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also like this video just to let me know that this is the type of stuff that you all wanna see. So before I get into the four elements in this video, I wanna just talk a little bit about the personal statement as a whole, just so you can kind of understand a little bit more about it. Basically, I don't believe that the personal statement is the most vital element of your application. I've talked about this in the past, but what I think is actually most important is your DAT principally, that is just a good way for committees to standardize the way they see students. We all take a standardized test and that allows them to kind of rank students one-to-one, -one, if that makes sense. The next most important thing is arguably the, the GPA. That is a good representation of how you've performed in the classroom over the past four or five years, whatever it is. And then after those two major pillars, we get the personal elements of the application, the experiences, both shadowing and service related, uh, the research, the leadership positions, and of course here, the personal statement. Really what the personal statement is, is it's them being able to see who you are before they get you in for an interview. When they get you in for an interview, they're gonna sit down with you and discuss all of the elements of your pre-dental process and they're really gonna to get to know you there. But this personal statement is their first exposure to you as a student and as a person. And it's really meant to be a very personal moment and experience for the reader. But something that I encourage you to remember is that your personal statement is going to be read along with hundreds of others. There's gonna be a big stack of applications on each of these committee members' desks, and they're gonna to have to go in and try to skim through your personal statement to kind of understand a little bit about you. So spending weeks and weeks on this paper is probably not the best usage of your time, especially if you're someone who's currently studying for the DAT. That would be the thing that I would focus on. That being said, you do want a personal statement that is one, accurate and honest, two, well-written and grammatically correct, and three, personal. And that is the most important thing that will purvey throughout this entire video. You want your personal statement to be specific to you. There shouldn't be a single person in the world who could write the same personal statement as you because we're all different. We all have things that are unique about us and that should be something that goes into your personal statement and weaves around through every single aspect of it. Let's get into the four elements that every perfect personal statement should include. And the first is a hook. Now I was an English major in college, so I learned a lot about a good hook. But basically the hook is the first sentence of any writing, any paper, any story, any whatever. It's this first statement that's going to draw the reader in and get them interested in continuing to read. It's extremely important that you have an effective and interesting hook in your personal statement something that the person who is reading your personal statement will remember you by. They might see you in an interview and think, wow, I remember that first sentence because it was so strange and unique and only this person could have written it. That's kind of what you're going for. The best way for me to illustrate this point is to show you a bad hook and then also show you a good hook. So one of these is bad and the other is good. Consider this first one. I have always wanted to be a dentist because I want a career in which I can help people. And the second statement, on a cold morning, in 2020, I embarked on the scariest journey of my entire life. Which of these statements is more interesting? <laughs> First off, statement number one is generic as all get out. Basically, any one of us who ever goes into dental school could have written this statement. We all wanna go into dentistry because we wanna help people. That's not something that's specific to literally any of us. It's also generic. There's not really a whole lot to sink your teeth into, and it's going to sound a lot like all of the fluff that these people are reading just nothing to grab into. The second statement is very specific and interesting. First off, what the heck is this scariest journey of the person's life? What is that? It's causing the reader to want to continue reading. 
they have to read all these papers, but imagine them actually reading a first, this first sentence and then thinking, I actually want to figure out what this person's talking about. This is interesting. It's also a specific story to the writer. It's specific, it's unique, and that's what this whole paper should be. Uh, this experience, this journey, whatever it was back in 2020, that is unique to the writer, and it's unique and important enough for the writer to have included it as their first sentence. Now, the second element of this whole process is the thesis, and the thesis is extremely important. The thesis is the whole reason for writing the paper in the first place. I believe if I remember correctly that the prompt for the personal statement in the application itself is something along the lines of why do you want to be a dentist which is nice because that's extremely broad and that allows you to go many many different ways with this paper it can be a little frustrating because you're like what should i actually talk about but you should talk about that you should talk about why dentistry for you and once again i'm going to continue to hammer home the idea that this should be very very specific and unique to you the thesis is your one sentence to say why you specifically want to be a dentist and perhaps why you specifically will make a good dentist. Once again, this has to be unique to you. We all want to go into a field where we can help people, where we can impact the lives of many daily, where we could work with our hands, where we can build a small business, uh, where we could build things in the mouth and work on the human body. These are all elements that we're interested in. And there's nothing wrong with that. But what about you specifically is important in this realm of choosing dentistry as your life career and life path. We have so many different options. There's so many different things that we can do. So why dentistry? Why was that your choice? The thesis is your place to state that very simply. What you say in between your hook and your thesis in that first paragraph is sort of optional. It's sort of explaining that journey like what I was talking about earlier and getting you down to that thesis, getting you down to the point of this entire paper. So having completed elements one and two, two of this video, you now have one paragraph of your personal statement. That is your intro paragraph. Let's get into element three. And element three is simply support for your thesis. Element three, it's essentially one to three body paragraphs that are going to exist in the middle of your personal statement. And those are going to be supportive paragraphs that make your point or give value and purpose to your thesis statement. In these one to three paragraphs, we want to explain further why you specifically or we specifically will make a good dentist. What elements of your personality what elements of your character align with the career or profession of dentistry? And how can you explain those elements along with your experiences, your pre-dental experiences, to create a full narrative of who you are? These are the things that you're gonna focus on in these body paragraphs. Like I said, it can be one full paragraph where you talk about all of this, or it could be like up to three full paragraphs, just however you feel you sh you can divide these ideas up to give support to your thesis. So I did say there that I would talk about my pre-dental experiences in this part of the paper, but it's also important to note here that if there are any things that happen to you, bad things, negative things, hardships that you dealt with, this is also the area where you can discuss how you overcame those things and how those things specifically are actually leading you to this place of wanting to be a dentist, because those things certainly do in life. The fourth element is wrapping it up. You have to wrap up this paper, and there are three things that you wanna do when you wrap it up, or three ways in which you wanna wrap it up. The first is conclusively. You want to sum it all up, sort of bring back up your points, generally speaking. It's sort of like summarizing your thesis is the best way to think about it. The second way is honestly, you want to be very, very honest throughout your entire paper, but you wanna be very honest here, especially towards the end. Uh, it has been stated in the past by administrators that oftentimes when people read personal statements, they actually will read the first paragraph and the last paragraph. So it's important that you kind of have a good summary and that you're honest in both of those elements of the paper. And finally, you want to approach this final paragraph optimistically. Ultimately, we all want to go into dentistry. You wouldn't be applying, you wouldn't be going through this long rigmarole of all of this work, all of the prereqs, the DAT, making sure you're getting a good GPA, shadowing service, writing this paper, filling out the ad sets. You wouldn't be doing all of this if you didn't want to be a dentist. So show your optimism show your excitement for going to dental school in this final paragraph. I remember in the final paragraph of my personal statement, I made a really broad but optimistic statement about how I thought my character and the things that I had learned in my experiences in undergrad would just 
flourish and blossom a lot in dentistry and that all of that process would ultimately make me a better person, a more empathetic person, someone who lives for others and not for themselves. So this is the paragraph when you can do that. This is the paragraph when you can talk about why you think dentistry will be great for your life and how you'll pay it forward. I just like the idea of ending off this paper in a very optimistic and excited manner. It kind of leaves the reader with sort of a nice outlook on things. Just like, you know what? I remember being in those in that boat. I remember being in the student's shoes. Look how excited they are. Let's get this student in for an interview. And ultimately, that is the objective of this entire personal statement. You want the readers of the personal statement to be interested enough in, of course, everything that's in your application, but also in just your story and what you're talking about in this paper. Interested enough for them to say, let's invite them in for an interview and hear more. Friends, just like that, you have a perfect personal statement. Now, now, of course, you want to proofread this sucker many, many times. You want to make sure that it is grammatically correct, that your spelling is perfect. Uh, you wanna make sure that your sentence structure makes sense. Make sure that all of the sentences are actually sentences. And if you're not great at writing and not great at forming English, Maybe have somebody who is read it and they can help you out a lot. Proofreading these things is extremely important. Sending it off to maybe your favorite science teacher or uh, favorite professor, favorite dentist, somebody that you maybe wrote you a recommendation letter and someone that you trust and you appreciate. Ask them maybe if they can read over the paper once and just kind of give you their thoughts and ideas. But ultimately just make sure that it is crafted well, that it is, that it is sound structurally and all of the rest of it will all fall in place. Finally, friends, I know that the personal statement can be very nerve wracking. It's it's like the, the first time in your application where you're like, okay, this is really my story and this is really me specifically. I'm not just a number anymore, I'm actually a story. So of course you wanna do well in it, but remember that it is not the most important thing by any means. So definitely focus on things like the DAT over this. But if you did give a bunch of time to your personal statement and you wanna craft it perfectly, follow these steps, make sure it's personal and you will do just fine. And friends, that's gonna be it for this video. I appreciate you for stopping by and checking it out. If you're interested in what dental school is actually like, you're writing this personal statement and you're thinking, what am I actually getting myself into? You could check out my life in dental school playlist. I'll link that right here. And that is gonna have all sorts of dental school vlogs and just experiences that I've been through in the past two years, just sort of showing you all of the steps of this process and what it's looked like for me and what it might look like for you. And once again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you like it. That really helps me with YouTube. Uh, that makes YouTube like me a little bit better. And also subscribe to the channel because I usually put out videos every single week related to dental school and this whole process and you don't want to miss a single one of them there's also a bell next to the subscribe button you hit that you get notifications you know the deal hey friends thanks for watching good luck with your personal statement and your entire dental school process i want to hear about it i want to be a part of it let me know as i always say at the end of my videos i will see you in the next one